I'm so glad you're here today. I have so many easy home hacks that actually work that I wanna share with you, so let's get started. I think the worst part about hard-boiled eggs is actually peeling them, so I have an easy hack to peel your eggs. So after you're done cooking them and they're resting, you've put your water on them, they're draining in the sink, take a glass or any sort of jar, you're going to put an egg in there, shake it around a little bit, and then the egg is going to peel off perfectly. We all love the look of a fluffy throw pillow, but sometimes the inserts for throw pillows can be really expensive when you buy them online or at stores. So here is a hack. What you're going to do is buy just a regular pillow cover. Then to fill it, you are going to buy, wait for it, a standard pillowcase. You can buy these at Ikea, Walmart, Target for around four or five dollars. This is going to make your throw pillows look super full and it's gonna be really inexpensive. Make sure when you put your pillow in your insert that you just get it over to the corners really well. Because you're trying to put a rectangular pillow into a square, you're just gonna have to kind of shake it around quite a bit till you get it in there and it doesn't have any weird lumps. This is an easy hack to keep your fruit cold at your next party. You're gonna need two of these disposable aluminum foil tins. Grab whatever fruit you want and we're gonna start by washing it all. Now to keep your fruit nice and cold all day, you're gonna fill the bottom tray with ice. If you're wondering why my ice is in these small little chips, I actually got an ice maker off of Amazon. It's amazing, I love it so much. I'll link it for you in the description box. So next you're gonna take your tray and put it on top of your ice. Then all you have to do is put your fruit on top. If you need to take it somewhere, you could even throw the lid on it. Dawn Power Wash is all the rage. I'm gonna show you a hack how you can make your own. So you're going to need any sort of container to put it in. You're also going to need rubbing alcohol and some regular Dawn dish soap. So here's your recipe. You're going to fill your container with 1 4th Dawn dish soap, 1 4th of the rubbing alcohol, and then the rest you're going to put in water. You're gonna mix that all together and you can use it in your everyday cleaning. I saw this next hack on Pinterest and I'm not sure if it works, so we're gonna try it out together. What you're going to need is a candle with three wicks. Now the hack is if you light one of the wicks, you can move the flame around to light all three. So let's try it out. Okay, so I have my first wick lit. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. That was a little scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move the flame to try to light. Uh, light it. I'm gonna put the candle lid underneath because I'm so worried about this wax falling out. Okay, that one's, oh, that one's going. Oh, it did it. Oh, it worked on that one. That worked really well, although I will say I got wax along the edge, so maybe you need to just let it sit for a minute and let the flame get a little bit bigger and then you can light all three sides. So I think a tip for the candle hack is make sure you light one of the candles, wait about 30 seconds before turning it to light the others. But now that I think about it, it would take me less than 30 seconds to just light all of them. So I don't know if that hack's worth doing. Let me know if you've ever tried this and if this hack would work for you. You may be looking at this little plastic thing thinking this could not be any sort of exciting hack, but I'm telling you, this is a game changer. So if you buy your laundry soap in these big containers, what you can use this for is you can put your laundry soap like this. If you're like my house, it always seems to drip out. But what you can do is you can just keep your cup underneath this little spout. That way it's there all the time. So you don't have to worry about any detergent leaking out. This is honestly the most genius hack. I will link it for you down in the description box this is actually from Amazon. If you guys don't know already, I have a second channel and I'm posting new content all the time. It's called Lisbon McDaily. Go check it out, subscribe, you're gonna love it. 
Next up, we're going to create a tiered planter that's super easy to put together. So you're going to need two different planters, one that's a little bit wider and then one that's kind of normal size. These are both from Ikea. So I'm going to take both of the planters and with the smaller one, I'm going to E6000 it to the middle of the bowl. I'm gonna spray my planter with two coats. From there, you can add in rocks. You can also add in succulents and plants of your choice. I think this tiered tray is super elevated and a really inexpensive hack. This next hack is perfect for your kid's bathroom or a guest bathroom. So what you're going to need is some mouthwash, a soap container, and some small little plastic cups. I'm gonna take the lid off of the soap container and my mouthwash, and I'm gonna pour the mouthwash into the soap container. And then I'm gonna put the soap dispenser back on top. I'll set out my cups next to the soap dispenser. Then anytime you need mouthwash, all you have to do is fill up your cup. I have the best $1.25 jewelry organization hack. So grab one of these in the craft section at Dollar Tree. They're perfect. You may be wondering like what to do with this. Well, whenever you're traveling, you can simply put your jewelry in each of the little compartments. It's perfect for rings. You can also put in earrings and everything is gonna stay nice and organized. This is one of my favorite pairs of earrings off of Amazon. I'll link those for you as well. Make sure you try this hack on your next trip. Next up, we have a Band-Aid hack. This is really cool. If you get a cut on your finger, this is a hack you wanna try. So take your Band-Aid and get some scissors. You're gonna cut the Band-Aid up until you get to the pad area. Then if you have a cut anywhere on your finger or your knuckle, you can put the pad portion over the cut, then take off one side, and then you're gonna wrap it around your knuckle and then since you created that slit, you're still able to bend your finger. Let me know down in the comments if you're gonna try any of the hacks in today's video. And don't be afraid to try that project you've been wanting to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you subscribe because I wanna see you back here. Bye.